Welcome to Real Magic Magazine. In this issue of Real Magic Magazine, John Armstrong discusses the finer points of the Hofstinger spread force. Because I think that forcing sort of gets used as like a blunt instrument, like a big sort of like mallet, when it could be a fine scalpel and something actually a, a far better tool. Garrett Thomas wants you to discover your magical moments. And there's a lot of magical moments uh, that uh, magicians should be doing, but they're too worried about just doing tricks. Wayne Kawamoto reviews several comedy magic DVDs. But overall, I was rather underwhelmed with this disc because I felt like it didn't really offer any innovative routines or methods. David Regal is all about the fast effect. An effect that is over in a second, but it's a really nice second. David Kay tells us what not to do with a broken wand. There's two things you don't want to do. And Simon Lovell tells you what you should really be looking at. The only time you should look at your hands, and I mean the only time you should look at your hands, is when you want them looking at your hands. Andrew Pennard and Continuum returns with Eugene Berger. You know, my, my, my contention is that there is fabulous magic at every performance skill level. The issue is finding it. Because, you know, the internet doesn't come with a user's guide. For the most part, right now, we're drowning in opportunity. And don't forget, we've got three new moves for you to learn. And three new tricks. One, a real magic exclusive. Don't miss out on the best deal in magic today. Real Magic Magazine. Television for magicians.